Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a predictive turret that can actually hit a moving target like you see here. Alright, so how do we do this? First thing we're going to need is we're going to need two blueprints. One is going to be the turret. We'll get rid of all of this stuff. And here's my stupid little turret. So just a cube, a little cone, and this billboard that I added here. This is where we're actually going to spawn the bullets from. And you can just add these here with this add component. And the other thing we're going to need is a projectile. So right here I just have a sphere. And again, you want to come here, add component, make a sphere, whatever your projectile is going to be. And then add a projectile movement component. And in here, the only thing that I changed is the initial and max speed. I set them at 5,000, and I turn projectile gravity off. So it's set at zero here. And that's pretty much it. This thing right here is just so that we can see if the player gets hit. So I just cast my uh, player on overlap, and I s am changing the player's material so it'll blink from blue to red when the... Um, projectile hits the player. Other than that, there's nothing really in here to worry about. Alright, so in the turret, what we want to do is look for event, begin play. And the first thing we're going to do here is cast to your player character. And then we're going to drag off here and say get player character and we're going to right click here and promote to a variable and call this player ref now that we have a reference to our player we're going to drag this out say get and I will just run this off of tick for convenience so we're going to find tick and I'm going to have a delay and we'll say about one second And after the delay, what I want to do is set actor rotation. So I want our firing point here to face the player right before we shoot something. So I'm going to drag out here from this billboard. And I'm going to say find from here. Find look at rotation. This is what I want. And we're going to plug this into here. So for the start, we want this firing point. We'll say get world location. And we'll plug that into the start. And then we're going to do the same thing for the player reference. We'll say get the mesh component uh, right here. And then we will get world location. So now we have the location of our mesh and we have the location of the firing point. We'll plug that into here and this will give us the rotation between the two. And after that we're going to spawn actor from class and we're going to search for bullet. This is the actor we want to spawn. And then we're going to need a transform here. So just drag off of here and say make transform. And we'll get to this in a little bit. Now, off of the player, we're also going to need the velocity. So we'll say get velocity. And we'll leave that here. And the last thing we'll need is get distance. So the actor we want is other actor here, and the distance is from the turret to the player. So this is going to give us um, how far away the player is from the turret when we fire the bullet. And the reason we want that is because it's going to take time for the bullet to travel, and we want to um, update where the player is going to be based on the player's current velocity. 
So what we're going to do with this is we're going to divide float by float. So this is the distance that the bullet has to travel. And then in here, remember we said the bullet, the initial speed was 5,000. So that's what we want to put in here. So this is how many seconds the bullet's going to be traveling. And what I want to do is multiply vector by float. And the vector we want is the velocity here because the player is going to be traveling at this velocity for this many seconds so their new location will be this. This is where we want the bullet to end up. All right. And what we want to do to that is we're going to add the current location So this is where the player currently is, and this is the distance they're going to cover while the bullet's traveling. So we're going to add those two together. And this is where we want the bullet to be. Oops, sorry, that's not where this is going. This, we want it to start at the firing point here, this world location. But what we want with this one is we want to get another find look at. So I'll just click on that, control C, control V. This is the target. And the starting point is the world location here. So this is where the player is going to end up. That's where we want the bullet angle to be headed. So that's why we're going to set the rotation here like this. And I think that is it. So let's test this out. We'll hit compile, save, and we will hit play. So see, it is flashing, that means it's hitting us. And as I move around, you will see it's still lighting up. But you can dodge it if you change your direction quick enough. Because see, now it's trying to anticipate where you're going to be. And if you're quick, you can avoid the bullets. Alright guys, I hope that was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright, see you guys later.